totally taking them down here. The last year has to be some sort of an offhand of pairs of well. The default go to would be like a tide to try and mm. give some space to the death prophet kill. He's gonna be back up again in 30 seconds. That arcane run's pretty good. Yeah, it's an always had to make an adjustment here. He's gonna head into that uh, Yasha's. Oh, they didn't put it on the aisle though, so. Oh my god, the they damage is matter. so immense. They're gonna try and pull a low high dance back and bring down the Winter Wyvern low. He's gonna be able to find that kill, but as you said, no Omni Slash. They're gonna be able to bring him down very low, and he is gonna end up falling. They've got the healing ward there, but man, this is just a complete and total disaster for Flipside. They don't have anything that they need at this point in the game, and again, this is, this is relatively speaking, the, the weaker point in their draft. They're gonna do a lot of damage to this DP, dropping low, but not dead as of yet, and suddenly Sachlo's gonna go down. Again. Oh, no, more? Night Stalker, he's turning back around. It's about to be no night stones. time. Guess what, it's time to try and go a little bit faster and gonna chase down Vanscore here. They might just All dive right, into the tower. Guys. This, is, this is gonna be a kill. They have nothing to punish them. But they're still a tier one. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> VP have no care for towers or map control. Oh, I'm gonna chase no, after no kid. <laughs> well, I, I I will say that at this point in time, guess what? The team fight keeps on going. They're gonna try and hold on to Aloha Dance here, and it looks like they are finally going to lose another hero. He rages, might need to go for an infest away, but no great luck in it. Tried to get to the creep play, but wasn't able to find it in time, and he ends up going down. But yeah, the okay. uh, hoping to find any source of initiation to break off this charge, but it doesn't look like it's really going to happen. It's actually pretty bad timing, just because it is daytime. They're totally just missing out on Yoku right now. Oh, good deny. <laughs> All right, that's good stuff. A little, a little bit of pull back. Absolutely, you gotta have a silver lining. He's still alive, because guess what? Arma Toggle is a thing. Gonna chase now, gets inside of No Fear. BKB has already been popped for uh, TMW. Meanwhile, he's gonna get beaten down by his own teammate. Can they find this kill? Oh, what a lot of damage going silence. on. Aloha Dance is gonna be able to stay alive for that. No Fear is actually gonna end up falling, and that's gonna end up being a huge turnaround. Look at the damage coming out right now from TMW. They're destroying VP. They're all falling apart. They're all gonna end up dying here, I think. They're going to be able to kill off. Maybe Aloha Dance is going to be able to find a kill on a band score. All of these illusions are burning through his man. He's dropping so low, and Sadoi just trying to make his way out of here. I think that they are going to be able to find this kill. Five heroes are dead on BP. The splash damage from Dragonite was oh, all grouped up together. Find him. Looking for the winner's curse, possibly, if they want to go for that. Vanscore is the one that jumps into the midst of all of them, and he ends up dropping incredibly quickly. The damage is still there for TMW. You need to be a little bit careful, and there's going to be another one of those Winter's Curses just not doing the most that you would want, and it does look like they're going to start to fall again. We are taking so much damage, and nobody from Flipside is really dropping at all. Sadoi is still very tanky. TMW starting to drop low. He is going to end up going down, and a really nice cold embrace. They're going to keep G alive for the moment. It looks like they are going to be able to make it happen now. Four dead for Flipside. I thought it was going well, but it just didn't end up being enough. And this is going to be a lane of racks at the very least. My goodness. Uh, man, I think in a lot of games, like the big ultimates and the stuns and the chronos and everything, it's really easy to see how much people are contributing. But this game, the silences from G have been so insane and on point, and as well from No Fear 2, uh, although he did end up going down in this fight. Like, he has just been. The, the kicks coming with the big silences, just always controlling so many aspects of the side of flip side. And you look at the spells that they need to get off, like the spin from the Juggernaut, he never wants to buy a BKB. And he just like pop his Manta, and he pops Manta, and he just gets silenced again. Mm. <laughs> uh, like Yoku all on top of that, not even just this AoE that's coming out too, like his individual silences that last for the full 8 seconds at this point. I'm... I'm... <sighs> I'm still going to say that, like, VP, it, it's very hard to throw from this position, but it's certainly not impossible. Yoku oh, is going to get scouted there, and they're going to be able to take him down. This is definitely the way to start it if you're going to make it happen at all. Why do you say anything, Cleric? Oh, my God. They're going to pull him back in. The Omni Slash down. It's going to keep Aloha Dance alive, though. Really nice cold embrace. Fine for the moment. Head boom, dropping low. They have the... 
Magnetize onto three and gonna be able to reapply it, doing lots of damage. Oh, TMW is gonna huge. end up dropping as you do have Zidoy on top of him. That newly bought Scotty just up in his grill. Vance Gore dropping low is gonna end up falling, and that's gonna be the Aegis going down in just a second as well. If they're capable of finding the catch, the kill, is it gonna be there? I think that it is. The ghosts are just too much damage. Buyback for the Batrider, but I don't think that they're gonna be able to stop this from happening. They get the silence, he pops the Manta, but is gonna fall. All right, there we go. That's me back into serious business. And I take that fight with perfect execution. Yeah, that buyback, it was really close to the Jug, actually. I'm not sure what happens. He can go the way at the end of Roche. He bought the Scotty. Uh, he had yeah, to buy like the... After. I think he had to buy the point booster was the thing that was left oh, that over. Must have been it, yeah. Uh, they, they cancel that one out, and Sashlo in a ton of trouble. Metpoon's going to end up falling down, and they have the buyback from the Bane. It's not nearly going to be enough. They're going to be able to bring down the Batrider. Uh, he stays alive for the moment, so nice little play there. Shiva's guard up. They're going to jump inside of No Fear for the moment. Four heroes are here. Can they turn this one back around? They don't get the silence off, and going to try and jump. Vanscore is going to be the first to fall, possibly. No, he's going to be able to get four stepped away for the moment. Well played there. TMW dropping low. Not dead as of yet, and... Looks like he is going to end up falling there in the end. Well played. Three heroes down for flip side. They're going to have to jug back up the second, but they've had enough. They're diving down. GG ends up getting called. As it looks like finally flip side are going to throw in the towel. And BP have done it. It was a little bit of clowny Dota at times. Can't, uh, can't quite argue with that. <laughs> yeah. Second time they've been in the fountain and the win, but I think this is a really big step for VP. Just the past recent days and everything since they've revamped the roster and swapped around all the roles. Looking fantastic. This one was expecting when VP formed this lineup, right? This is what we were all hoping for, so I'm pretty glad to see some nice powerhouses coming out here. And uh, 